Yo, 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 what's going on, guys? Egal Talks Football, and I'm back again with another video. And you've seen the title of the video, you've seen the thumbnail. You know what this is about. This is about Emma Smith Rowe being sold for James Madison. Now, let me tell you guys exactly what's going on, but before we do that, I'm going to break down a lot of transfers today. I'm not only going to talk about that. I'm going to talk about Jules Kunde and potentially wanting to join Arsenal. Give me your thoughts on Emil Smith-Rowe as you guys are in the chat right now. And could Jules Kunde be the perfect answer for Arsenal in addition to Mason Mount stories and a little bit about Ilkay Gundogan? But before we go any further, let me just get into this story. This is a crazy story. Arsenal are considering selling Emil Smith-Rowe in order to fund a James Madison move. According, Arsenal are currently considering selling the young academy pro uh, prospect Emil Smith-Rowe uh, product. And this is to fund a move for Leicester's James Madison. The Gunners are prepared to strengthen the squad this next summer and are entering into the European top flight, the Champions League, of course. Emil Smith-Rowe has been with the club since he was 13 years old and has struggled uh, due to injury recently and potential departure could disappoint Arsenal supporters. Uh, but alongside James Madison, has been an Arsenal target before, and this could be a signing including the West Ham captain, Declan Rice. So imagine that. We go and we sell Emil Smith-Rowe to fund the move for James Madison. It would absolutely break my heart to sell Emil Smith-Rowe. That's the honest truth. So let me know what you guys think. How would you feel about selling Emil Smith-Rowe? The honest truth is Emil Smith-Rowe has not been able to stay fit and Emil Smith-Rowe has not been able to be an option this season for Arsenal in the Premier League. It is very unfortunate, but that's the harsh reality at this moment in time. If you're not fit enough to play, you're not useful to us in the long run. We're, we're trying to challenge for a title. We're trying to compete for the Champions League next year and we're trying to at least win another major honor. If Emil Smith-Rowe is not able to stay on the pitch, then unfortunately, we're going to have to be harsh and there's not going to be any sentiment. But I personally would love to keep Emil Smith-Rowe. He's a fan favorite. He's one of my favorite players. He's one of the guys who started the rebuild. But I've already started to come with the reality that his future at Arsenal might be at risk due to the fact that he wasn't able to give us too much games this season. And that's one, because of the system. And two, because... Martinelli's playing so well on the left. There's no need for Emil Smith-Rowe to be playing on the left. And even when he did come on the left, he didn't look like he was he was at his best. Emil, uh, uh, Reese Nelson offered us more uh, coming off the bench. And even when he did come off the bench, he ended up getting subbed off because he wasn't offering us enough during those games. Maybe they're going to retrain him as they said they were in that in that uh, in that position where Jacques is at. But even there, he hasn't shown that he's the best in that position yet. There's other players that are better than him in that position, like a James Madison. So would it be an upgrade? to sell Emil Smith-Rowe and bring in James Madison, I honestly do believe it would be. But it would be harsh because we absolutely love the guy. He's a fan favorite. And how much could we even garner uh, selling him for? He would probably be worth a decent amount of money because he was valued around $70 million just last year. He was one of our top goal scorers. But yeah, let me know what you guys think. Give me your honest thoughts on Emil Smith-Rowe because unfortunately he couldn't play for us. And let me know what your honest uh, thoughts are on his future. And James Madison, would you be open for a move for James Madison? We have been linked to him before. We have been interested in him before. And I think in that Xhaka role, he could be amazing. Let me know what you guys think. Now, moving on to the next story. If you guys haven't heard, Barcelona Jules Kunde wants to leave. He wants to play in the center back position because uh, the Christensen and, and uh, 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 other guys named Angelero have been performing so well. And he also knows the Premier League is the best place for him to get opportunities. He doesn't want to leave. He just wants to play a center half over there at Barcelona, but they're not playing him in that position. And Manchester United, Manchester City, Chelsea and Arsenal are all options for Jules Kunde if his departure did materialize. Now, let me ask you guys this. Would he be the perfect fit to give us more squad depth? And he would also be somebody who can fill in for William Saliba and there's no drop off. He could also play in the right back position if need be, but he doesn't want to really play there. So if we sign Jules Kunde, would it be a realistic signing? I don't think it is. Honestly, I don't think it is. I think Jules Kunde is an amazing player and it would be an ambitious signing if you can go pull him in. But he would join Arsenal and where would he play? I really do believe Saliba and Gabriel would start ahead of him and maybe he would take Ben White's spot at right back. He would add amazing squad depth to us, but it's not realistic. If he was to go anywhere, just looking at the options that he, had, that he would have in front of him, it, I would think that Manchester City 
or Chelsea would be options before Arsenal because Chelsea would have an opportunity to give him game time right away. He goes to Manchester United, he would be able to get game time in the case that Varane is not playing. Hmm. Probably, probably Gabriel would have to sit on the bench if Jules Kunde came on. Maybe Saliba and him would start. I don't know. Let me know what you guys think. Do you guys think it makes sense? Personally, for me, it doesn't make sense, but it is what it is. Now, moving on to the final two topics of the day. Um, Mason Mount has been linked to a move to Manchester United for £55 million. They're about to make a bid for Mason Mount. Arsenal have also been rumored to want him. And of course... Uh, Liverpool have also been linked to Mason Mount. Now, the thing about Mason Mount is Mason Mount has been linked to Arsenal for about a £60 million bid. That is reportedly what Arsenal would need to pay for Mason Mount. I don't think he's worth that much money. I would make more sense if he was closer to the £45, £50 million than he would be the 60s, 70s, 80s. That's what Chelsea want. Chelsea want £80 million. Now, Liverpool are the favourites and the front runners for Mason Mount, but it seems like they're now going to go for McAllister. So I don't know if Liverpool are in for Mason Mount anymore. But Arsenal are looking for an attacking mi uh, midfielder who can play that eight role. And they view Mason Mount as th that player. He's already has Premier League proven and he has fr uh, friendships with some of the players in the team. And of course, Declan Rice, who's his friend, who we're looking to sign in the summer also. So could it be that Arsenal go and get uh, Mason Mount? Possibly. Is he that big of an upgrade? I don't know. This is why I think we're looking at James Madison. This is why I think we're looking at that profile of player. I think if we do get James Madison, that's good night to, to Mason Mount, and that doesn't happen. But Mason Mount to Manchester United, I hope somebody else buys him. I don't want Mason Mount. If Liverpool or Manchester United buy him, I could see him being a quality player in the right system. But Chelsea is just not the right home for him anymore, and he's probably going to have to leave to get to get good game time and to get his form back. On form, he's a great player. But I, I just don't want Arsenal to go spend that type of outlay on Mason Mount. Personally, maybe it's the fact that he's former Chelsea, but I just don't think it's worth the investment. Um, and finally, talking about Ilkay Gundogan, Manchester City so far are willing to only offer Ilkay Gundogan a one-year deal. Barcelona are willing to offer him a two-year deal. If Arsenal join the race for Ilkay Gundogan, Man City can... Uh, Arsenal are now looking to join the race for Ilka Gundogan, but that's only if Manchester City do not agree a long-term deal with Ilka Gundogan. Guys, as we know, his first choice is probably to stay in Manchester, but that's only if they give them a new contract. They only want to give him one year. He wants at least a two-year minimum, I think, right? Barcelona are offering him a really good offer of a two-year contract, but they're in a financial situation where they probably won't be able to agree to keep uh, to sign him in the summer. And Barcelona is Barcelona. They'll probably find a way around it. But if Arsenal go and offer him a three-year deal or a two-year deal with an extension option, he might take that. And I personally think Ilkay Gundogan is an upgrade on Granit Xhaka in the sense that quality of player, ability on the ball, ability to score goals, clutchness, big game player. He already has been there, done that, adds the experience that we need. But Ilkay Gunwan by himself is not what we need. We need several midfielders to come in. If we go get Ilkay Gundogan plus Mason Mount, sorry, forget about Mason Mount. If we go get Ilkay Gundogan plus Caicedo and Declan Rice, or we get Mason Mount plus Declan Rice and, and what do you call it, uh, Ilkay Gundogan, if we get three midfielders in, that's what I want to see. But if we get two midfielders and we only get Ilkay Gundogan and Declan Rice, it, we're in the same position. I really don't believe that is a good thing to do. I really don't think that's a good choice to make. And I don't think that's what we're going to end up doing. I think we're going to probably keep, uh, keep uh, we're probably going to keep our eyes open to see what we're going to do. But I don't think we're going to sell all, all, our, all our midfielders and then only buy uh, Declan Rice and Ilka Gundogan. I think there's more midfielders coming in than just that. And finally, let me just wrap up by showing you guys this one more thing. Arsenal are preparing to sell up to eight first-team players this summer with James Madison, Joao Cancelo, Declan Rice among the targets in that we're interested in, Thomas Partey and Granit Xhaka, Rob Holding and Kieran Tierney on the chopping block. I'm not going to lie to you guys. I don't know how I feel about us selling all of our current midfielders. I would rather keep Partey than sell him on the cheap this summer. I think keep him for one more year, let him go next summer and get the squad depth, keep the squad depth because he is a quality player on his day. I know that's on his day, but he's a quality player. I think we keep Thomas Partey and we move with the times. This is not football of the days past. You don't need 
you can't win a league with just 11 great players. You need a bench. And Thomas Partey would be an amazing player to be in the rotation coming off the bench potentially. Imagine we have Declan Rice and Thomas Partey in, in, in that position. In the eight position, we will have who? Either Mason Mount or Madison in that position. Plus, you can play Fabio Vieira there. And then you have Odegaard on the other side. And Gundogan? Come on, this is this is this is an amazing rotation. We would have potentially we would have really six great midfielders that can rotate. I know Fabio Vieira is probably the least uh, uh, of those, but yeah, that's of course if we get rid of Emil Smith Rowe and we don't bring anybody else in, right? So imagine Ilkay Gundogan, Odegaard, and Declan Rice would be our starters. Then you have Jorginho, Partey, and um, Madison would be the next three, and then the seventh player would be potentially. Uh, Fabio Vieira that could be seven midfielders I don't know logistics wise I think that would be great but do City even have seven great midfielders that they can rotate thinking off the top of my head they have Calvin Phillips Ilkay Gundogan uh, Bernardo Silva um, Kevin De Bruyne Rodri yeah so they probably not you probably can't have that many starter starter caliber players but yeah you guys get my drift but hopefully you guys enjoyed the video let me know what you guys think in the comment section would you guys sell emma smith row to buy uh james madison and yeah just let me know what do you guys think if would it be even plausible for us to get jules kunde would he make that move from barcelona to arsenal i don't know if he would and also um let me know do you guys think what do you guys want? Would you guys want Madison, uh, James Madison or do you think he ends up at Liverpool or somewhere else? Let me know what you guys think. Long story short, I'm out of here, guys. Love for the love, people. I'm going to just a quick upload. Hopefully, you guys enjoy these videos. Let me know. And if you do enjoy these videos, leave a like right now in the comment section. Leave a comment what you thought about this video. Check out this video if you want to see another video. Subscribe to my channel if you're new. And here is the next video, that I, the, the most recent video that I just did right here. Have a great one, guys. I'm out of here.